rid of it, and Barnett wasn't ready for it. No. A perfect throw from Rodney Pete, and you can hear Barnett yelling at himself. He didn't turn around quick enough. Yeah, he just did not expect the ball to come quite that soon. Rodney Pete doing an excellent job of adjusting to a rush that just blasts up the middle, and you have to wonder, you have to actually believe that the Eagles offensive line on that play miscued because there was not a body on a body. Now third down and 12, and six defensive backs check into the game for the Saints. Williams brought down right at the marker, and I believe he has a Philadelphia first down, and Buck, Vince Buck, slammed his helmet down another big pickup on third and more than ten well Vince Buck did everything he could on this play to prevent the first down Pete again the accuracy is is really admirable puts the ball right where it has to be and watch Buck come up he comes up I mean he stops Kelvin Williams in his tracks he pays the price because that hurts that knocks some nerves around in your neck it makes you numb it makes you hurt and to come away without getting, without preventing the first down makes it hurt twice as bad. The Eagles do indeed get the first down on third and 12, and they got 12 and a half. And again, as it was with Waters running after the catch. Good work by Calvin Williams. Ray Rhodes has got to be so pleased with the performance of Rodney Pete today. down for the Eagles. Play clock showing six. Barnett cannot get around Jimmy Spencer. And that's okay by Spencer. That's a good play by him because you can't stop everything. And if a team is going to take those three-yard passes, those short passes, that's okay. The key is, and you see it right there in the middle of the screen, if they make the catch, you make the tackle. He shucks the stiff arm and brings down Barnett. Second down and seven. Inside handoff, Waters. Down to the 20. And a third down coming up for the Eagles. Points are so important here, Tim, for Philadelphia. Remember, for New Orleans, their starting quarterback, Jim Everett, is out of this game. He's in the locker room. And it's going to be difficult for New Orleans to move on this Eagles defense with Tommy Hodgson at the controls. He's had very little work. That's absolutely right. And they got the Eagles with the trick play to put the only touchdown on the board today. They won't be tricking the Eagles defense again. Ray Rose will be ready for it. Third and six. Kelvin Martin, the intended receiver, and Eric Allen was there with him. I like that decision by Monty Kiffin. In the red zone, we have seen the Saints defense blitzing in passing situations. Sending the heat on Rodney Pete, and it's a gamble, but it's a gamble that's paid off because the Eagles have not been able to get into the end zone. Anderson is three for three today. For the year, seven out of ten. And he'll try a 37 yarder. Good snap, good hold. Good kick, and Gary Anderson, the former Steeler, just moved across the state. He is four for four. And the Eagles now lead New Orleans by two. Although Rodney Pete for the Eagles has been very efficient and effective completing these kind of numbers against the Saints secondary, if you look at the yards here, you can see that although there are some completions, the Saints secondary has not allowed Pete to get deep. The then, throws have been intermediate. And then, Tim, the final category, touchdown zero. The Eagles have been in Saints territory every possession and have come away with only four field goals. Waters driving the pile, picked up a couple. Jim Everett trying like heck to get back into this game on the sidelines moments ago. Limping around a little bit. 
but I'm sure he's thinking he's going to come back yeah, in. He's moving pretty well there, but the thing you have to remember is that on that right there, on that clip, he was moving forward. When you twist your ankle, the hardest thing is to move side to side laterally. But right now, the ball is in the hands of the Eagles. And the Waters. Ricky Waters wide open in the middle of the field and down to the 32. Vince Buck there to make the stop, a pickup of 16 for Ricky Waters. Sometimes you focus on the defense and you say the jet and the eight-man front and all that kind of stuff, and you say, well, somebody must have missed their assignments. But sometimes, my gosh, you've got to just say it. It's a back like Ricky Waters just accelerating to the hole, using his blocks very well, and then doing what he does best, balance and quickness and elusiveness to pick up big yards. Barrett Brooks with a big block on that run. Waters 69 yards on 19 carries. This is Garner. Inside the 30. Ronaldo Turnbull there to make the stop. Pick up a three. Word now, at least official word from the Saints sideline, Everett could return. So earlier they were saying he wouldn't. Now they're saying he could. My guess is he is. Yeah, I think so because you see Everett there. He doesn't have a baseball cap on. But right next to him is Tommy Hodson. He's got the cap on. And that usually tells you he's the one going to stay on the sideline. The throw is behind the receiver and incomplete to Calvin Williams. Now he's got the helmet on. Only one snap not buckled, but he's a quarterback. Is that what you talk about when they say in the NFL teams are trying to figure out that cap thing? Is that what they mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the cap. That's capology at its best. Six defensive backs into the game for the Saints. Third and eight. Pete, short of a first down. Got across the line of scrimmage and brought down from behind by Wayne Martin. You have to credit Wayne Martin again and the hustle of the Saints defense because when Rodney Pete starts to scramble, the only thing that brings him down, and as you see these numbers here, this Saints defense has got to be tired. They've been out on the field 35 minutes so far, and it's just, it wears you down. Gary Anderson, four for four. He'll try a 43-yarder. Good snap, good hold, good again. It's nice to have a good kicker. And so Gary, valuable. Gary Anderson has been perfect today. Five for five, good snap, good hold, and the Eagles lead by five. Well, hard at least for me to believe that Klaus Wilmsmeyer is into the game to punt. Under two minutes to go, only two timeouts left for New Orleans. And they ought to end up with great field position if indeed the Saints do punt. On fourth and 14. They will punt. Good punt. Fair catch, smartly called for by Kelvin Martin. And with a minute 51 to go, and the Saints with only two timeouts left, they're going to ask the defense for another big stand. I, th th that's one of those calls that people are going to question Jim Mora for. If the Saints lose this game, they're going to start to call for his job, thinking, you know, second-guessing him. Let's take a look at Daniel Stubbs. Watch him. He had the sack in the beginning of this, this series. He gets knocked down. He gets up, and he knocks down Jim Everett's pass. So another defensive lineman for the Eagles really emerging today. Ricky Waters across the 40, and the Saints will spend one of their two timeouts remaining. The Eagles force into that situation where... Another first down would really put them in a good position to wind down the clock. Only one New Orleans timeout remaining. So, yeah, another, if, if nothing else, Tim, excuse me, Jim Mora really showing confidence in this defense, which came into this game last in the NFL. 
he asks, in essence, the defense to give his offense a chance to win the game right here. Right, and as, as you said, another first down, a first down here by the Eagles effectively ends this game. And it's, but really, Mora was, was not given a good choice either way because either you risk it all on fourth down with Jim Everett when he's got to go about 12 or 13 yards, or you risk it on your defense being able to shut down the Eagles and turning it right around. I, it's, it's a bad deal either way for Jim Mora. This, this game for them, the best chance was for Everett to complete some of those balls with his back to the end zone. Stubbs took care of that. Rodney Pete has had a very solid day with Randall Cunningham watching from the sidelines. Here's Waters. Ricky Waters to the 44. And the Saints will spend their final timeout. And a third down coming up for the Eagles after the timeout. I don't think there's any question that Pete has established himself as the Eagles quarterback today and, and he, he's shown that he has the ability to run this West Coast offense to run it very well but I don't think you've seen the last of Randall Cunningham and I don't know if it's going to be with the Eagles I think probably he's going to be better suited to be with another team that enables him to do what he does best and that's that's improvisation that's running around making big throws big plays big runs and not trying to fit him into the confines of a West Coast offense I, I really think it's like taking a gun away from a cowboy and asking him to beat the bad guys with a bullwhip. You think it's like that? I, I'm speechless. <laughs> but but, he, but I, I think he can right. use the bullwhip. I mean, he, he, he's shown today he knows how to use the bullwhip. He can do a lot of the things Randall Cunningham can do. Doesn't have the running ability anymore, but he is a very solid quarterback and Randall Cunningham has seen Rodney Pete come into a game and put the Eagles in a position to win a game they really had to. Trying to get to two and three. Ricky Waters, nothing. And the clock will run. There will be under a minute left when the Saints get the ball back, and New Orleans will have no timeouts remaining. So Jim Mora's gamble on his defense really has paid off. The defense stepped up and shut him down. Now Everett's got one more chance. Folks, today's game is being produced by Mike Burks and directed by Joe Setti. Studio was produced by Scott Ackerson, directed by Bob Levy. The executive producers of Fox Sports are Ed Gorin and David Hill. Eagles will let the play clock run all the way down. take the penalty 48 seconds to play well we mentioned earlier that that's why Jim Everett is here in New Orleans he's here to pull these big games out in the last few seconds with his big arm Jim Everett and the Saints offense will have one more try Everett today 8 out of 20 for 71 yards. Delay on the offense, 5-yard penalty, still 4th down. Not a typical Jim Everett day. Came into the game with the most throwing yards of any NFL quarterback. On the other side, you talked about Rodney Pete being satisfied with the short throws, dumping it off, and moving his team into scoring position. He did that all day. Yeah, he did what that West Coast offense asks the quarterback to do. Be satisfied with the short pass, have a high completion percentage, and then rely on a strong running game to work your way down the field and eat up the clock. And no question, the Eagles ate up the clock today. Hutton, another chance. He's been terrific again today. Saints will be coming. gets it away and there will be no return so another good punt wasn't pretty but if you want to take Tyrone Hughes out of this game Hutton has found a way to do it 51 yard punt by the rookie Tom Hutton and that gives Everett in the offense 88 yards to go. Again, I mean, you hate to admit it, but the punter is a defensive player. He's a defensive weapon, and Hutton has done as much as any defensive